Hey guys, this is Saurabh from LakshaEducation.in and in this video, I will show you how to know if a number is a perfect square number or not. But first, what is a perfect square number? A perfect square number is a number whose square root is an integer. Okay? Now, moving ahead, how do we check if a number is a perfect square number or not? For that, we have two statements. If both of those statements come true, that means that the number is the perfect square number. Statement 1 Statement 1 is A perfect square number must never end with 2, 3, 7 or 8 at its unit place. Okay? Must. Okay? So, according to statement 1, a perfect square number can never have 2, 3, 7 or 8 at its unit place. Suppose the number is 1, 5, 6, 8. Now, this number can never be a perfect square because it contains the number 8 at its unit place. Got it? Now, the second statement says that the digital root of the perfect square number must be among 1, 4, 7 and 9. That is, the digital root must be among 1, 4, 7 and 9. But what exactly is this digital root? A digital root is nothing but the single digit number obtained by adding all the digits of the number. For example, if the number is 1, 5, 6. Okay? So, to, to get the digital root of this number, I will, all add, I will add all its digits. 1 plus 5 plus 6, which is equal to 12. But again, this 12 is a 2 digit number. So, again, I will add these two digits. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. So, the digital root of 1, 5, 6 is equal to 3. Okay? Let's take another number. Let's take uh, 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, 2. Okay? Here also, to get the digital root, I will add all these numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 6 plus 2. V is equal to 21. Okay? Then 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Here also, the digital root came out to be 2. But if you notice, as this number grows bigger and bigger, the amount of digits we are adding up here also increases, right? So, there is a shortcut method using which we can make this task simpler. For that, what we will do is, we will eliminate few of these digits whose addition comes to 9. Example, let me write down this number here. Okay, now look at this 2 and 7. If I add this 2 and this 7, it comes down to 9, right? So, I can eliminate this 2 and this 7. Again, look, again if I add this 3 with this 6, 3 plus 6 gives 9, right? So, I can eliminate this 3 and this 6 too. I am left with only 2 digits, that is 1 and 2. So, I will just add 1 plus 2, it gives me 3. Understood? Let me take another example. Let's say 6, 2, 1, 8, 3, 7, 0, 4. Okay? Now, in this number, let's, let's see what are the numbers that we can eliminate. See, 6 plus 3 gives 9, right? So, we can eliminate 6 and 3. Now, 2 plus 7 again gives us 9. So, we can eliminate 2 and 7 also. Now again, 1 plus 8 gives 9, so we can eliminate these also. 
we are left with 0 and 4. So, 0 plus 4 gives us 4. So, the digital root of this number would be 4. Understood? So, let's go back to our original topic. That was, we were trying to find out if a number is a perfect square number or not. The second statement says that the digital root of a perfect square number must be either 1 or 4 or 7 or 9. Okay? So, let's take this pick. Let's take this number 1, 5, 6, 2, 6 and let's try to find out if this number is a perfect square number or not. Okay. So, let's check whether this number satisfies our statement 1. This number must not end with 2, 3, 7, 8. Here, the ending digit is 6. So, clearly, this satisfies rule number 1. Okay. Now, let's see what is the digital root of this number. 1, 5, 6, 2, 6. 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 which gives us 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 2 14 14 plus 6 20 so 2 plus 0 equal to 2 our digital root is 2 as statement 2 said the digital root must be 1 4 7 or 9 but here we have digital root as 2 so this doesn't satisfy our second statement hence this number is not a perfect square understood now let's take another example that is let's say 6 2 4 1 let's try to find out if this number is a perfect square number or not what does does this satisfy statement 1 must not end with 2 3 7 8 this has 1 as its final digit or unit digit so this satisfy statement 1 ok what is the digital root of this number 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 which gives us 8 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 1 13 so 1 plus 3 equal to 4 so the digital root of this number is 4 According to our statement 2, the data root must be 1, 4, 7 or 9. So, this satisfies our rule number 2. So, this number is a perfect square number. Understood? However, there are few exceptions where although the number satisfies both the conditions, still they are not perfect square number. For example, have a look at this number. 6, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1. Okay? Here, this number satisfies the condition 1. That is, it doesn't have 2, 3, 7 or 8 at its unit place. Okay? And if I want to find the digital root of this number, 6, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1. I will eliminate this. I will eliminate this. And... This, the data root is 4. So, it also satisfies the condition 2. Still, this shortcut method comes in real handy in our competitive exam where we have to eliminate a lot of choices which are not perfect square numbers. Okay? So, I hope you understood this method.